Alrighty guys, well I've just come back home with a big bulk lot of really awesome stuff. I cannot wait to show you guys. There's all these really rare old PlayStation games. Um, I've even got like some jerseys here. I can't wait to show you everybody what is in these boxes as well. So many games. Alrighty, well let's get into it. Let's put the GoPro on. And let's dive through everything we've got here. Alrighty, guys, I think I might, I've got a little shirt there to uh, cover the uh, the light that comes in. So let's start off with these shirts right here. I picked these up, so five bucks each on these. This is just an LA shirt. Um, this jersey right here, this was a Spurs uh, Adidas. What's on the back there? Splitter number 22. This one was really cool. This uh, Chicago Bulls, uh, it's on the Nike tag. I think it's a, like a vintage Nike tag too, possibly. Uh, and it's the Jordan number 23 on the back there. And then this jersey here, this was a um, San Francisco, um, is it San Francisco? It is, yeah. SF there, San Francisco, number 46 on the front there, NFL, which was pretty cool. 20 bucks on that, can't go really wrong. Um, I found this as well, this is just a, um, I don't think it's worth too much, 2014, but it is still sealed, it's a little bit broken there, but it is still sealed, so that's pretty cool for a uh, NRL uh, pack of cards there. Um, some games here as well, some PS4 games. Um, yeah, just the standard ones, I guess. Actually, that ones I've actually never seen before, so well, that might comp up pretty well. Just a bit of a stack of games there. Um, this was all just like scattered through all of this as well. That we'll get through that in a second, but um, we'll go through this stuff here first. Uh, a couple of PlayStation 2 and Xbox games. I think this Grand Theft Auto goes pretty well as well. Um, it's nice to have the manual and the uh, the map with it as well. It always goes a lot better when you have those two. I think the Need for Speed one goes alright as well. It's crazy what you used to buy for 89 Well, some of them actually, you know, some of them resell for pretty well. Uh, and some of them, like, you might you might pay 90 bucks for that and it might sell for, for $10 now. But a um, couple of games there. And then we did actually pick up these um, McLeod's Daughters. I don't think they were full set. But, um... It is pretty nice to pick up some McLeod's that I've actually never picked up McLeod's daughters before, so not this Law and Order UK. But um, so what have we got here? So we've got the first, we've got the second, the third, the fourth, the oh, and the sixth. Wow! So seasons one to six in McLeod's daughters. I know that goes pretty well. I don't know one to six how much that is, uh, but that should be some decent profit there. These ones here, I think I just picked these up uh, by accident, but they were just the CSI Miami New York. But I did get these ones here. Uh, these are the CSI uh, complete season from 1 to season 10. So uh, that's pretty cool. I think they go for around $60, $70. Um, I've actually never sold those ones before. I'm not too uh, familiar with uh, DVDs. I know Matt at the Aussie Flipper, he's really good with DVDs. So I, that's where I actually learn uh, to get my DVD stuff off him. This is literally just a, I don't know if you'll be able to hear the car next to me, but it's being a bit loud. This is just a box of honestly just random stuff. Like I've got some controllers here, another controller there, uh, controller here. Um, oh, what's this? Pokemon little DS. Oh no! Just some um, battery packs and memory cards. Well, they're still pretty handy. Damn, I thought I was going to be a nice DS surprise there. That would have been awesome. Um, so I've actually chucked a, a couple of these games um, just out of the bag there. Still got so many in there. But these are really awesome sort of titles that I've never really seen before. I've just comped that one up. That goes for $80 itself, which is awesome. Um, awesome, it's in there as well. So that's really good. And they're actually pretty good condition. Um, I've had a look at a couple of them. Like this one here as well. All of them are like really old sort of fighting ones. Bloody Raw 2. Shadow Madness. Um, this is like a um, plastic one, but I think the uh, the game's in there. Let's see if it looks. Yeah, it looks all right. Yeah, cool. Um, a lot of these I just chucked in a bulk lot and was like, "How much do you want for all of them?" So there's some PlayStation ones there, and this was a sealed Tetris on the uh, Nintendo 3DS, which is always good to get sealed. I actually just comped this one up. It goes for about 40 bucks, so. That was a really good surprise as well there. Um, oh, I missed the um, Xbox One here as well. So, Xbox One here, obviously got it from Cashies. $329, wow. 
Um, I don't have the cords for it, but I might have some in there or some inside. I've got an Xbox One inside as well. Um, so hopefully that works. And then this looks squashed, so I don't think that's worth anything. So I'll put that aside there. I'm going to leave that one soon because there's some really cool Pokemon cards in there that if you are interested in that sort of stuff, I'll leave till the end. Uh, just a couple of PlayStation 1 games, put them over there. All right, let's go through the... Um, the basketball cards here they're really old like not the best condition on them well that one's actually a pretty good condition card but they um all of this look at that that's just like faded and rusty and the whole the whole card thing is pretty uh pretty gone but um look if you're uh if you're gonna ask the question of is there any lebron james in here i don't believe i saw any but um some really old cards which is really awesome guy next door is bringing the bin up should have been brought up like three days ago the bin, the bins guys came like three days ago um yeah so just some basic i think these are just common basketball ones here but they're still what year are they so if we go to this one here flea 94 95 so 94 and 95 on those ones there there's some shinier ones here at the bottom there but i don't believe there was any really uh, good ones. I think you mainly just look for the, uh, the LeBron James and stuff like that anyway, but hopefully it's not too glary. Hopefully that's a better, better view. Let's see if we can sneak a uh, LeBron James on camera that I missed, but I don't think so. Nothing. All right, no. Well, not nothing, but still some, uh, still some pretty cool cards in there. I don't really collect basketball cards myself, so guys, if you uh, are interested in anything you see here, just leave me a, uh, a comment or even uh, message us on uh, Instagram at Oz Treasure Hunters. Um, you can, you know, we're always willing to to sell this sort of stuff a lot cheaper for you guys if you are a viewer or a subscriber of the channel. All right, oh, let's get the shirt back up. Oh man, come on, get back up there. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, all right. Okay, let's get into these games here. There is just plenty of... Actually, you know what we'll do is just have a quick look. Okay, well, they, they all seem to be in there, which is really good. Uh, a little bit... I've actually... Oh, man. I was going to say, I've actually sold that one before. I think that was a good one. Um, Battlefield, Medal of Honor. I think... Yeah, there should be games in these ones too, which is, which is all right then. Of course, the one that I picked up. I don't know. I thought that was another good one, but I don't think it's too much on that one there. We got here Don King. I've haven't comped any of these games. Um, I saw that one before, so that's all right. Um, but there is some pretty cool, pretty cool titles in here. I know that one's not too bad. Let's see if we can find a cool, a cool title. Brothers in Arms. The Simpsons game, I don't think that goes, that's probably not even in there. No. The Simpsons game, the uh, Simpsons hit and run, that's uh, that's the one you want to find. Jack 3, that's in there. Um, Plants vs Zombies, not in there of course. <laughs> this is a reminder to uh, to check the games when you're uh, when you're buying them. I'll do it for you, I'll uh, make the mistake for you guys, so uh, you check them. But. I think it's still going to be a crazy good deal, especially when we look in that one there. That is really exciting. That plastic bag right there with all the old PlayStation 1 games in there. So, and there's a few uh, PlayStation 2 as well. So that is going to be good fun. What's this one? Not not in there. Alrighty. So this is just goes to show that I should have looked <laughs> if there was games in these, but. Uh, you can still sell them with the manual, so that's not too bad, that one. Alrighty, so... There's no games in the PS3 ones here. Which is unfortunate. But that's alright, I'm not really into the PS3 ones. What have I got? I think... Oh, I must have just been this side here. These ones here. That feels heavy, that feels alright. Games, games, games. Okay, cool. All right. I think these ones. No, this one does. 
this one. Okay. All those ones do. Alright, let's have a look in here. What do we got? Hitman, Blood Money, Shrek the Third, Need for Speed, Shrek, Hitman. Oh, that's in there, which is good. Um, what do we got else here? I think that is going to be it for the these ones here. Nothing too more exciting in the uh, Xbox games. So we'll um, move those to the side there. And we'll, uh, we'll get into the, um, the box underneath. There's no games in the box underneath. It's a... Um, it's a... It's a console. Well, it's three consoles. So we've got two Xbox 360s and a PlayStation 3 right there. So that is cool. I can test the games on that. All right, so let's get into this exciting one right here. There's a few random ones in there as well. Shrek, Smash, and Crash. All right. All of these are PlayStation 1 games. Yeah. Look at that. Jurassic Park, Eagle One, Contender, Soccer, Attack of the Saucer Man. Wow. Attack of the Saucer Man. <laughs> I've never heard that before. That's funny. Oh, Time Crisis. I remember playing this with the actual gun. That was the best game. Time Crisis. I wreck it. Can say Sacred Fist. Let's have a look. Nice. What's that say? Judge Dread. That's interesting. Crazy playing. Guys, comment if you think. Or if you know any of these games go for really well. This one, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Because I haven't comped any of these ones up. So if you comment, I'll be able to see if any of these ones are, are good games before I even comp them myself. Fighting Force. A couple of sport ones. UFC. Well, not UFC. WWE. FIFA. They're so, like, old pictured. Oh my god, look at that. Small soldiers. Oh, that's sweet. It's not a um in a proper case. Let's see if the game's there though. Look at that, small soldiers. Hmm, that looks a little dodgy. I've got to uh I've got to test I've got to test all of these ones too. Because um some of them do look a little bit uh off, I think. Um so I'll have to double check them on my uh my PlayStation. Okay, well, I reckon that is going to be worth a little bit of money, those PlayStation 1 games. Because uh, there is some really cool titles there. Well, guys, unfortunately, uh, I think those uh, PlayStation 1 games are fake. Um, look, I think I just got caught up in the heat of the moment there. I was pretty excited. Um, and I think I just, you know, you know, bad error on my behalf. Um, until I um, until I actually Amanda got home. And um, I was so excited to show her the games I got. And she's like, well, I think these are fake. Uh, and I don't even know how I didn't see it, but you know, looking more closer at it, like they didn't even have the inserts and stuff like that. They just look like bits of paper for the, uh, for the titles there. So I'm super bummed about that. But look, look, you make the mistakes like that and you just, you know, you gotta learn from it. Um, I think I'm still gonna make a little bit of profit as well. I'm gonna try real hard to, uh, source, you know, everything I can in that, uh, bulk lot and uh, really try uh, make uh, at least my money back. And look, it makes for a, uh, a video for you guys. It makes for some listings for me. So look, look, you got to see the positives in things as well. So unfortunately, they were fake. But um, look, there's a few other games as well that were pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we'll keep on going with the video because there's still some pretty cool stuff to uh, to get through. Let's get into a couple of these ones in here. Sim Sing stuff, Space Invaders, Grand Theft Auto. Nice to see that it's in there and with the map. Uh, on the bottom there. I think I saw this one the other day for around 25 bucks. So a little bit of money back already. Um, what have we got here? Fallout, Rainbow Six, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty. Oh, it's got the map as well. Awesome. So it's good to get the Grand Theft Autos with the maps. Um, they definitely sell for a lot better when you have the map. Battlefield 1. Oh. Um, Gears of War, Grand Theft Auto. Last little pile here, Marvel, Far Cry, Sniper Elite, Mafia 3, 
They're in the tins, they're pretty cool. That's that one. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Oh, games in there. That is awesome. Uh, those are the ones with no games as well, isn't there? Um, Alright, so I'm going to get to this little bag here. If I can even move it anywhere. I might have to uh, move some of this back into here. Go through those again. I think I'll make those pretty fast. If there are uh, missing discs or not. Put those. Put this one down here. Alright, this was just a bunch of a little like um, Skylander stuff, but I just paid for the whole for the whole bag and I think there was a lot of um, just random stuff in there, like as you can see. Um, what have I got here? Oh, I've got a an Xbox controller. That's not too bad. I need one of those. Yeah, let's see Skylander stuff. Mario wheel. Let's have a look. Let's get this plastic bag out. What have we got in here? Yeah, see, so these are just like Skylanders figures and stuff like that. So nothing too crazy on those. I don't really know if there's any really rare ones and stuff like that. I'll probably just sell that as like a lot. Yeah, can put that back in there. Nothing too exciting in that one. Uh, what do we got in here? I think some more Skylanders stuff. And minions. Oh, that's a blue Wii remote. I need some remotes. That looks really good. That looks clean as well. That's awesome. Okay. That's one remote. That's what I need. Oh, there's a few remotes in here. There's another one. Oh, there's another one. It's missing the back though. It looks a bit, looks a bit lucky. What we got here? There's some pipe stuff. Uh, there's some more random stuff. What's, oh, there's another remote. Oh, that's a Motion Plus one. That's, that's about $40 right there. Wow, well that was pretty good actually. For that little stack, there's four, well, I'd say three, three better looking remotes. So there's about nearly, nearly a hundred dollars just in the, uh, in the remotes there. Which would be handy because I just bought like six Wii's that I, uh, that I have to get, get tested and I do need remotes for that. Alrighty guys, so this is the most exciting thing for myself personally. Uh, these Pokemon cards. There is some like other stuff in here. I think like 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 little Digimon uh, and like Pokemon like um, like 3D uh, Action what are they called? They're actually are called 3D actions special stuff um, Look at that. I didn't even know what half this stuff is gonna be uh, What's oh they're empty packs of uh, of Pokemon stuff, but let's hopefully find some good Pokemon stuff in here um, I believe Okay, well these ones are fake. These ones are fake. Look at the back of them. They're not really purple. They're more like blue and very miscut. So, yeah, okay. Well those ones are, are fake ones. What have we got here? These are NRL cards. Um, I think there's some more NRL stuff. I think this is more newer stuff. What's these Bakugan cards? Don't need too much about that. I think this is what we got in this. What cards are these? These are the Elvis collection cards. Oh, wow. I've never seen anything like this before. Look at that. Elvis in the early days. Wow. That's really cool. Look at that. Wow, alright, I've got to comp those up because I've actually never seen those before, so that'll be interesting. Uh, some sticker stuff, don't know what that is, more Pokemon stuff, little Scooby-Doo fridge magnet, wow, that's pretty cool, some, oh, they're Tarzo Slammers, well, not that one, Tarzo Slammer, the official Tarzo Slammer, I've never heard of it before, there's another Pokemon pack, I was hoping one was going to be, uh, oh, here we go, there's some, like, actual, oh, there's a fair few of these 3D ones, I think the sets of these go for pretty well, so, I doubt there's going to be a whole set in there, but what have we got here? More. Oh wow, there's a whole stack of Bakugan cards. I don't know if they're worth anything, Bakugan stuff. 
hope you guys can see me. Yeah, you can. Okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll move to the light a bit. Hopefully you guys can still see me. But, um, yeah, a whole stack of Bakugan cards there. Nothing ex so exciting so far. Um, these look fake as well to me. Look at the back of them. Yeah, yeah, nothing purple. That looks purple. That's probably the only one so far that is, that is genuine. Uh, let's put that over there. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, ooh, okay. All right, well, that is a Lapras. That is a... That's real. Oh, awesome. That's a vintage one. That's a, that's an early one as well. 99. See that it says uh, Wizards there? That's a Wizards of the Coast. So that's like a really older set. That's actually from the base set. The fossil base set. That's a really cool card. I like that one. I'm going to keep that one. Um, These ones don't look... Oh, no way. You are kidding. That's real too. Oh, oh that's a Dragonite promo. From the kids, WB presents Pokemon, the first movie, Dragonite. Oh, that is awesome. Wow, that's two really great cards so far. Let's see if we can find some more. Oh, I'm super stoked. Okay, all right, let's have a look at the backs. They look pretty fake at the back here. Uh, yeah, they're all, they're all fake ones there. Let's keep it going. Um, no... No, they're fakes. Let's just go to the, straight to the back. Straight to the back is the easiest way to see. See, you can look at them like this. So if I've got... Okay, you can... Look, here we go. See? Look at this one on the right compared to the one on the left, okay? So look, that one is more... I don't know, hopefully you guys can see on the, the GoPro there, but that one is more... Uh, I'm, I'm sort of kind of blind, so hopefully uh, this makes sense. But that is more darker than this one right here and you can see that it's so miscut on the corners there that that blue line is so much thinner than that blue line and even these are just way more round and you can just have a look at them anyway that's an energy card so it's a bit hard to a bit hard to explain on that one but um with this one here oh my god oh my god okay that is a really good card too that's a first edition my champ hollow oh my goodness wow Oh my goodness, that is three crazy good cards out of this little set here. And I've still got a couple more to go. Dragonite, the Lapras, and the first edition Marchamp. Wow, that is an awesome little pickup so far. Fingers crossed there's some more good stuff in here. Oh, that's gotten me so excited. Hopefully there's um, some more good cards in here. Hopefully less fakes. It doesn't look like it. There's a lot of fake cards in here. What's this one? Joltik. Is that real? Oh, that one's a hard one. Sometimes they make them super hard to, to tell. Nah. Oh, I don't know, actually. 2011. I might keep that one aside. That Sometimes they make really good fakes. Like, they're very similar. But that one is a bit darker, so it does look more. But it is very... Uh, badly cut on the corner there. See, it's a lot thinner than that side. All right, that one's going to be a out to the side one. I'm not too sure on that one. Sometimes they make really good. F oh my goodness, look at that one. That's that is completely fake. That's half a card. Um, all right, see, here we go. Awesome Japanese. Jap is that a machoke? That's a vintage machoke as well. Ooh, that's a nice one as well. Um, these two are real as well, but they're nothing too special. They're just trainer cards. What do we got here? Anything real? Nope, nope, nope. What's this one? No, that just bends too easy at the back there. Let's have a look what we got. See, a lot of these are these Pokemon 3Ds, which is really cool. I'll, um, have to go through those ones. Um, what are these? Just some Jackie Chan cards, wow. Alright, uh, still a couple more Pokemons in there. Let's see if we can find, say, uh, another good one. We found three good ones so far. So I'm super happy with that so far. Let's see if we can uh, find some more stuff. These are just super fake, these ones here. 
Oh, these are fake, 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 fake. Um, all right, let's go through them. No, it's fake. It's making me think the uh, the other one that I picked up just before is a fake as well. I think these are all going to be fake. They're so much lighter in colour and detail as well. So yeah, I think all of these ones that I've picked up are fake now. That's the last of them. Yeah, that one's fake. You can just feel it as well. Wow. So five real cards out of there. I think this one is going to be worth a little bit of money if I sell it. I probably won't because I keep my Pokemon stuff. This Dragonite one is awesome as well. And that Lapras. Uh, another hollow there. Alrighty, so oh, some uh, little Yu-Gi-Oh! Tarzo as well. Just some really cool stuff. What's this? Another, another Tarzo slam, I think. And more Tarzos down the bottom here. Simpson stuff. I think that is everything in that box there. Alrighty, guys. Well, I reckon that is a pretty awesome little haul we uh we managed to uh, pick up today thank the gopro for uh, filming that i'm um, just doing the uh, the outro on my phone there guys um if you think that was a pretty good deal i did pay 380 dollars for everything there so let me know in the comments if you reckon that was a good deal um or if you reckon it was a bad deal and you reckon i uh, i stuffed up on that one but um i think there's some pretty cool stuff here um yeah even just like the pokemon stuff i'll keep that for myself uh and the games and stuff like that yeah, I've got to test them and I've got to see if they're even genuine as well. So, but I think a lot of them are and um, there's going to be some pretty good profit there, I reckon. So guys, I'm going to leave the video there. Like the video if you like these videos, guys. And um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more in the future. And I'll hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll see you in the next one.